This is no ordinary cake. The little girl just took a bite. Her body became three times bigger. The dress also became a mini version. Her head almost burst the ceiling. The girl carefully picked up the key. One sip of the shrinking potion. Her body instantly shrunk several dozen times. Opened the door of the room. She traveled to a strange world. Here the rabbit has to wear a dress. Ostrich need to wear glasses. The most outrageous thing is. All the creatures here know that the girl's name is Alice. They say she is the savior of this place. But Alice doesn't know who they are. The prophecy scroll clearly states, the girl will appear today. She will also be holding a holy sword and cut off the head of the dragon. To put an end to the Red Queen's brutal rule, the Red Queen's head is huge. But her sister, the White Queen, is an iconic beauty. Although she looks a little princess sick, but she was a good person. She was loved by the people. And the Red Queen's subordinates are unlucky. If someone made her angry, the Red Queen would shout her mantra. Her men ran to the White Queen. The furious Red Queen controls the dragon and began to wreak havoc everywhere. And Alice's mission is to help the White Queen to kill the dragon. Just when Alice was confused, a long-haired monster rushed out. Claws hurt Alice's arm. Fortunately, the Mouse Swordsman came to the rescue. A move to remove the eyeball of the hairy monster. Alice seized the opportunity to run away in a hurry. But the smoky woods let her lost. This creepy cat suddenly appeared in midair. It's a strange smile that appears and disappears. But the cat wasn't a bad guy. He first helped Alice to treat her wound, and then took her out of the forest. There was a man in a hat waiting for her, but before the two of them could say a few words, the Red Queen's men arrived. The hat man hurriedly gave Alice a shrinking potion. Quickly, he stuffed her into a teapot, acting as if nothing had happened. When they left, the man in the hat immediately took Alice to the White Queen, but then the Red Queen's men came after them again. In order to protect Alice, the hat man could only throw out his beloved hat. He took Alice to the other side of the river with him. Alice was able to escape, but the hat man was caught. Alice saw others sacrifice to protect themselves, decided to find the Red Queen to save the hat man. She got on the big hound and rode west through the desert. Seems to have reached the Red Queen's castle but she was stopped by a river with a human face floating in it. Alice was trembling. She stepped on the petrified heads and made her way to the other side. She finally saw the Red Queen after passing through the stone gap. She is also really cruel to small animals. A little rabbit found Alice. After learning that she had come to rescue the hat man, he hurriedly handed her a piece of big cake. Alice was hungry. She ate and ate, instantly turned into a small giant. The Red Queen tilted her head, looking at Alice. Her head was even bigger than hers, directly invited her to his palace as a guest. Then the hat man was brought up. Tell me where Alice is hidden by you. The man in the hat looked at Alice in the chair. He had an idea at once. What the Red Queen asked, he would not say anything. By the end of the night, the man in the hat told Alice. The magic weapon that can kill the dragon is in the house of the long-haired monster. Alice looked at the wound on her arm, scratched by the hairy monster, came up with a good idea. She got the eye from the rat swordsman, returning it. The Shaggy was not a bad person. Not only did he help Alice heal her wounds, and also watched her also took out the magic weapon. But Queen Hong already knew Alice's identity. A group of poker soldiers surrounded Alice. At that moment, the long-haired monster rushed out, with Alice also broke out of the Red Queen's encirclement. She hurriedly handed the artifact to the White Queen. But now Alice is really too big. There was no shrinking potion here. And how to change her back? <laughs> A thousand-year-old skeleton finger, two spoons of Mona's soup, three coins from the gutter, and a sip of fairy saliva. Out of print shrinking potion is done. Alice gulped it down. The body quickly became smaller. The other side of the Red Queen. After hearing that the escaped Alice also stole the magic weapon, she raised her hand and slapped. She also wanted to cut off the hat man's hand. The onlookers covered their eyes, but the man in the hat did not panic at all. So so this is the cat who can play illusions. Morning everyone. Where did the hat man go? He exposed the hypocrisy of the people around the Red Queen. These people are not congenital deformities. It was just a way to please the Red Queen. The Red Queen was furious. Come man in the hat could only go to the White Queen's palace. And at that moment the Red Queen has arrived with her army. The White Queen also rushed to summon the soldiers to fight. But as the hero of the prophecy, Alice retreated. She looked at the hopeful eyes of the people. She felt a lot of pressure. She ran to the prophet who was about to cross over for help. The prophet awakened Alice's childhood memories. Turns out that Alice really came here when she was a teenager. In order to protect these friends, she put on the armor. She rode a long-haired monster to fight. This vicious dragon 
dragon is her opponent. Alice was too nervous to be hit hard and fly. The man in the hat could not do nothing. He directly attacked the dragon. But this broke the rules. The soldiers on both sides quickly started to fight. Alice took advantage of the chaos to climb up the tower. The chaotic environment here is not good for the dragon. After dodging several waves of dragon attacks, Alice jumped on his neck. With the power of the dragon, she flew into the air. With your head! The Red Queen's soldiers saw the dragon lose its life. They all surrendered. The crown, a symbol of power, also flew to the head of the White Queen. And Alice, having completed her mission, returned to her own world. After this incident, Alice became confident. She believed that if she wanted to do it, there is nothing that cannot be done. I believe that you in front of the screen must be the same.